in the year 1998 this this uh, experiment was uh, redone and it 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 uh, it saw a fresh look by a couple of scientists by name watts and strogatz it's it's in fact popularly called the watts strogatz model which we'll be seeing very soon so they reconducted this experiment on email networks email networks and observed the small world phenomena on email networks as well they observed the small world phenomena it wasn't way too surprising for them and they went ahead and proposed that the possible reason why this is happening is because of two concepts which we indeed saw already which is homophily and the concept of weak ties the the first nice explanation was indeed given by watts and strogatz they said the reason why the small world is being observed is mainly because of two concepts homophily and weak ties let us delve deep into their explanations what exactly was the reasoning uh, that they supplied they said in a given network of course there are many nodes there are several edges connecting them correct so they they proposed that these edges are actually sort of grid like structures right the grid like structures then this is like a locality in your place so you live in a locality and these are the friendships that you have made obviously you would have made more friends more friends who are geographically close to you more who are geographically close geographically close right and less people who are geographically away from you correct so um uh, so instead of seeing it as a graph let us model it as a grid so what do i mean by that uh, let let me just write down that this is my locality these are let's say the houses or my the, the way um i this could be a school a college an office or whatever so all i'm trying to say is let's have a very simplistic model of representing people as uh, white dots and their friendships as edges and each person has some friends in his neighborhood okay he makes friends in his neighborhood because of homophily right people who stay together in the same locality probably share some common characteristics and they become friends with their immediate neighbors right so now uh, such a such a thing probably happens because of homophily as we saw but then but then a person who is here might make friends with a person who is here Okay. so this person might make friends with a person here so let me draw a red uh, line here right so imagine this was a, a huge let's say 100 cross 100 grid huh 100 cross 100 grid and some two ext extremal points are becoming friends like this this is a, this is very much possible right you might know friends only in your locality but you do know some friends away from you as well right so watts and strogatz proposed that it is because of the homophily and weak ties that in a grid like this while most of your friends are your neighbors on the grid you tend to some of us tend to make friends with far away people as well and this is what is leading to the small world phenomena as observed by us and what is that let me explain so when a person is asked to deliver a letter to another person p1 is asked to deliver a letter to another person p2 p1 will indeed give that letter 
to his uh, some one of his neighbors but then he doesn't give it to any random neighbor he gives it to that neighbor he thinks is close to the destination right he gives it to that neighbor who is close to the destination possibly right and this keeps happening right but then um, a1 might know someone who is um, not his neighbor but is uh, someone who is staying far away from him who might be very very close to p2 all right so this is what happens so when when um, when let's say uh, this is one region this is another region this is another region um, when you are trying to send a piece of information or let's say a letter or whatever you call it through your people whom you are close to you probably will stay in this shell you probably will stay in this city but some people do have links to outside the city and they will pass on the letter to people outside the city and again once it goes outside the city it probably will stay there because of homophily but then some one person might know someone from this world rather this country or this continent and the letter will indeed reach this particular place which initially wasn't the case as you saw we were just um, uh, roaming around here and then we came here and then we roamed around here a little and then we saw that there was a path to the next uh, country and we entered here and then slowly it reaches the desired destination okay from the source it reaches the desired destination mainly because of two things as i told you which is homophily and the notion of weak ties by weak ties i mean the edges such as this which we have studied in depth already right it is it, are, it is these two things that lead to uh, let me write that down once again homophily and it's not just homophily that leads to small world phenomena homophily coupled with weak ties that result in such a phenomena from occurring now anybody can hypothesize something like this how do we know this is true is this true is this true well it has been observed in many networks that this is indeed true that several networks have what is called these clusters like this right and nodes exhibit uh, homophily they make friends with many people who are like them but then there are friends who are outside the territory as well so uh, let me illustrate it well this, this is you you will have many friends who are like you inside your territory but a few of them will be outside the territory right outside the territory some of them will be most of them will be inside the territory by territory i mean your zone homophily and a couple of them will be outside your territory it is this couple of them couple of those friends that each one of us have who which results in the small world phenomena right that makes the world really really closely knit and connected 